On the 7th of August, 2022, 31-year-old Janie Pedersklo would go live on Facebook just moments after allegedly stabbing her two small children multiple times. A two-year-old boy who hasn't currently been named and four-year-old Paris Roberts. Children is dead. I'm done. I'm done with life. And it's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I'm done. I'm done. Although there's many news reports about this case, they aren't in depth, so we'll piece together what we can from multiple outlets to try and build the best picture we can from the information we have. So from what we know so far is that back in April of 2022, both Janie and the man she references in the video, Jermaine Roberts, the children's father, were going through court for custody of the children. Jermaine wanted joint custody of them and wanted it to be put in place that he had them over the weekend as he felt, in his own words, that Janie wasn't stable and wasn't providing a healthy environment for the kids. A hearing was supposed to go ahead towards the end of August in 2022, but the events that unfolded at the start of that month proved fatal for at least one of the children. Just prior to 11am on the 7th of August 2022, as you know, Janie would post that clip to Facebook, which quickly caught the attention of Jermaine. In a panic, he quickly shot over to Janie's address on the 3100 block of Law Street in the Florida area of New Orleans. In the footage, Jermaine is thought to have rushed to the scene, and when he arrived, it was a gruesome, but an extremely sad discovery. After smashing a front window in, he climbed through, and there they were, his two small children with multiple stab wounds. To make things worse, there were no emergency services around to help. So he did what he thought was best, picked his daughter up, who by this point was unconscious, told his son who was badly injured but could still walk to follow, and the trio fled to the car. Jermaine rushed his two young children, soaked in their own blood, to the nearest hospital, and upon arrival, medical staff knew they had a huge job on their hands and tried to save both children. But for Paris, it was too late. She succumbed to her injuries. The two-year-old boy would go on to survive, but from the latest reports, he still remains in a critical condition. Emergency services would soon arrive on the scene, though, after neighbours were alerted to the ongoing incident. But when they arrived, the children were gone, leaving only Janie in the house. She was arrested at the scene and was later charged with second-degree murder, attempted murder, and second-degree cruelty to a juvenile. So as it stands right now, this is all the information we have surrounding this case. It only broke a few days ago, so there isn't really much to go off. And although we know the pair were going through a custody battle, we don't know just yet why or how it escalated to this. There are some unconfirmed reports that the pair were in an abusive relationship prior to having the children and beyond, but that's just according to a blog page on Twitter. No actual news sources have confirmed that information. 